let's see how she goes. Wow. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a 2022 Volvo XC60 Recharge T8 Inscription. This is the bad boy XC60 with the crazy powertrain. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Volvo here in downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with this XC60. Check out their inventory link below. Let's get into the video. Under the hood, we have a two liter turbocharged and supercharged four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. It's got 57 MPGE. Total power outputs between this engine and the hybrid system that's accompanied with this are 400 horsepower and then 472 pound feet of torque. And it's really cool to see the engine right next to some of the hybrid components right there. And it is literally buzzing, which is also crazy. But yeah, that's everything under the hood. Now let's go over the front end of the XC60. So first off, you guys will notice the body lines here on the side really, really pop out. And then coming down below, notice that we've got the Thor's hammer LED accent lights with the headlights as well, really bright. Got the chrome accent piece down below. And then it's got the parking sensor there as well. And then you can see here with the grills, Volvo signature grill, you do have the camera there at the bottom of the logo. And then you guys can kind of see just uh, behind the grill as well. Um, but from a front end perspective, it pretty much just looks like every other XC60, which is pretty crazy. Now coming around the side here, we've got two 55 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see here on the design with the wheels, we've got the silver on the top and then notice you've got the black accenting which kind of makes certain parts of the wheel look hollow when it's just painted. I think that is all pretty cool. Got the parking sensor right there and then notice that the fender kind of bulges out a little bit. Now it is a plug-in hybrid so this is where you charge it. You can see that right there. Pretty easy stuff. We've got the chrome accenting along the side on the windows and then for the rails there at the top and there's your side view. Now here's our key fob, says Volvo there on the front and then notice we've got the unlock lock and then the opening for the hatch. So just hold that down and then it'll pop right open. Now here's the rear hatch area with the XC60. Notice we've got the cargo cover back here. You've got a 12 volt as well. We've got all of our floor mats and fun stuff. And then if we pick all of this up, you can see we've got a little bit of extra storage just underneath that. And then we do have the charging cable that comes with the car. And other than that, we're just gonna press that and well, wait for it. Now she's closed. Now finishing things up here in the rear, we've got Volvo's signature taillights that are pretty much on all of their vehicles. Got the XC60 badge right there. We've got our T8 all-wheel drive recharge badge. That's really the only thing that you can look at on the outside of this car to tell that this one has the crazy powertrain. We've got the chrome accenting there at the bottom. Notice the exhaust tips are completely hidden and that's all for the back. Now here's the door panel in the rear. We've got really nice leather padding here. We're gonna rest your arm. And then you guys can see a couple speakers there for the Harman Kardon sound system. We've got the window control right there. And then here are the seats in the back, really nice leather. And we'll just pop in quickly so you guys can see what that looks like. There's legroom, headroom. And then you can see a little bit of storage. You get another 12 volt right there. And then this does pull down to be kind of like storage space, armrest area. And let's head to the front. Now here's the door panel at the front. So again, really nice leather trim here. We've got a bunch of window controls, the mirror adjustments, memory seats, and then you can see more speakers for the Harman Kardon sound system. And then here are the front seats. Again, really nice leather. We've got perforated leather here in the center portion because the seats are heated and cooled. We've got the adjustments on the side of the seat. Notice we have our recharge plaque. Sorry, it's hard for you guys to see. There we go, recharge. Got the pedals right there. Got that for the rear hatch. And then notice really nice wood trim like it's just, I don't know, it has really nice grain to it. Like, it just feels great. I feel like I'm touching a tree. I know it's wood and it's from a tree, but like, you guys get what I'm saying. Anyways, there's one more look before we pop in. Now here's the steering wheel. We've got leather all around the steering wheel with some dark stitching in the center. We've got our voice command, pages button, controls for the center stack, cruise control on the other side, turn signal slash light stock, windshield wiper stock, and that's all for the steering wheel. So here is the center gauge cluster and notice we've got the speed over on the one side and then you guys can see on the other side with the gears and all that and then we have our gas range and then our electric range right there and then navigation screen front and center and well that's all for that. 
Now here is the infotainment system. First off, we're gonna pop it into reverse. You can see we've got the backup camera and you've got that 360 button that lets you see the different camera viewpoints. So like, for example, I can go from backup to front camera. So pretty good system overall. Uh, resolution on the camera is great. Now, aside from that, with the rest of the infotainment system, response time on this is fantastic. It does come with services from Google. You don't need to have an Android to use those services. So if you have an iPhone, don't worry, you are completely fine. Now we do have some different drive modes. You have to go into the settings tab and then over to driving. We have our hybrid, power, pure, off-road, and then all-wheel drive. And notice it gives you description. So like it says what every single drive mode is gonna be doing, right? This is like your hardcore drive mode. And then the hybrid, right, is going to be your acceleration. And then pure is like your full electric and then off-road obviously, and then your all-wheel drive. So like snow and all that kind of stuff. But hybrid is what you're mostly going to be driving this in. And notice we can change the battery usage. So right now I can put it over to charge and it's gonna focus on charging the battery. Now down here, we've got some analog controls for the climate stuff and then also for the radio. And then again, really nice wood trim, wireless phone charger. We have the crystal shifter that you have to pull twice to get into drive and then twice again to get into reverse. All interesting stuff. We've got our engine stop start right here. And then we've got our parking brake, auto hold, a couple of cup holders, center console. And then notice we've got the glove box over here with the wood trim. And then we've got a bunch of leather trim here at the top. And finishing things up, we do have the panoramic center, if you notice that you just slide to open up. I love that feature, like, I don't know. That just, it just feels cool. Now here's the window sticker. There's a ton of glare, so you guys are not really gonna be able to see much, but this is the surprising thing to me. Total MSRP, $68,305. I just reviewed another XC60 inscription with the, you know, new B6 powertrain, and it was about the same price. It had different options, obviously, and options change things quite a bit, but like, this thing's a bargain in my mind. Let's take it out and drive it so you can't see it. This is getting in the way. But anyways, let's go drive it. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. You can see visibility over the hood and notice we do have the heads up display. Both of the mirrors throughout the rest of the rear. And one, two, let's set off. So we are setting off here in the XC60 recharge. Right now I have it in the charge mode for the initial driving portion. And then once we get our acceleration, I'll go into the power mode so we can get all of the beans as the people at TFL say whenever they accelerate, give it the beans. But anyways, let's talk about this XC60 and how it drives. First off, you guys know I'm a huge fan of the ride quality of the XC60. I feel like it just has this nice, smooth, luxury car ride quality about it. And you can just tell it's a really well-built car. Like it's just, everything feels really well put together. And you can just tell that from a driving experience uh, perspective. Aside from that, road noise is pretty minimal. Uh, now that I'm in this charge mode, you can hear the engine a little bit because the engine's turned on to charge the battery. And so it obviously is using a little bit uh, more juice to charge things up. So you do get a little bit more engine noise when you're in the charge mode, but when you are in the normal hybrid mode and you're not doing the charge stuff, then basically what happens is it just switches in between having the engine on and off, depending on how much range you have. Uh, sometimes you'll be in full electric, sometimes you won't, and also depending on how you're accelerating, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and so overall, it's a, it's a very quiet experience uh, and I like it. I like how it is. Uh, and I, I don't even mind when the engine is on, when you hear it, it, it doesn't it doesn't make bad sounds. You hear a little bit of turbo noise and it, it's a nice, it's a nice time. So we are going to get our acceleration in just a moment. So what I'm going to do is pop it over into the power mode, put it in auto for the battery usage. So then it's gonna give me the maximum amount of power because it's not gonna be worrying about charging the battery. It's gonna be worrying about getting us that quick zero to 60. And with that being said, Let's see how she goes. Wow. <laughs> that is insane. That is, I mean, it is raining outside given, but that is the first time I've ever lost traction with a Volvo. That this thing is just, it's snappy. It is, it is absolutely crazy. I love that. It is so cool too. Like you get initial, like a punch, obviously you get that instant power and torque from the uh, hybrid, or sorry, from the electric side of it rather, because it is a hybrid. And then you get into the supercharger and then you get in the turbocharger and it like, it's kind of like a melody. It like all blends together very nicely, but it, it, it makes for a very interesting acceleration because you have like a push and then you got another push and then you have another push. It's like, it never ends. And it's, 
it's interesting wow i have never i don't know i i drove one of these a, a while i mean it's been like a year since i've driven one of the recharges it sounds so cool too because you get a little bit of turbo you get a little bit of supercharger this thing is so sweet this is oh my gosh i think this is my favorite hybrid now i love how that is just it's so cool it just it sounds amazing i'm gonna pop it back into charge mode for a second um but let's start summing things up here with the xc60 recharge so first off exterior wise it looks just like every other xc60 i think they look great i wish they did a little bit more with the recharge to kind of like differentiate it because i mean it's such a sporty version of the xc60 um interior wise it's the inscription package with this one so it's got a nice interior sounds so cool um nice luxury features really good tech so that is all solid and then it still has a nice comfortable ride quality to it it does all the luxury car stuff the seats are very comfortable so solid from all of that and then from the power and performance perspective it's such a dual use vehicle if you want to just you know ease around town and get good fuel economy you can do that but then if you want to do some like performance driving you can do that too. You just pop it into the power mode and this thing just scoots. It is just, it's so cool. It's such like a dual character vehicle and it really does have just crazy performance. Like I will show you guys right here. We'll get over here in the other lane and just look at this. <laughs> it's, oh my goodness, this thing is. I just realized that I forgot to give this uh, a rating. I was having way too much fun driving to give this a rating. So I am going to give this a very high rating. This is going to get a 9.5 out of 10. And I know that is a very, very high rating. But listen here, this powertrain is so fun and it's so like, you can use it for so many things. Again, performance driving, good fuel economy, and it sounds really cool. And there's so much going on. I love the technology behind this. And so, yeah, this is this gets a high score for me because this thing is fun. This is my favorite version of the XC60 is this recharge version. So yes, Ben Hardy approved. That's all I gotta say. Now that's gonna sum things up for our video here on this XC60 recharge. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Volvo in downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with this XC60. Check them out in the description down below. I'll see you guys.